Happy holidays and welcome back to Life With Them. If you're new to us and we're new to you, we are the Dumashev family. We explore cultures of the world through cuisines, travel, and family adventures. Today, we're sharing our culture. Though our home state of Louisiana is famously known for Creole and Cajun food, the historical influences of all ethnic groups in the state contributes to our food culture. Everyone isn't a Creole or a Cajun, but we all know there is nothing like Louisiana food. However, the focus for today is on Louisiana soul food, which is a blend of soul food, Creole food, and good old-fashioned Southern cooking. As with most of our dishes, we start off by prepping our Holy Trinity, which is yellow onions, celery, garlic, and green bell peppers. On the left, I am preparing the chopped seasonings for potato salad, and on the right, I added in green onions for the seafood stuffed melaton. So while this technique may seem like a little extra work, removing the spine guarantee your turkey to cook evenly and cut your cooking time down a lot. Usually we do a wet brine, but this year we wanted to try out a dry brine. So to brine your turkey, simply rub your turkey down with salt. I'm talking everywhere. Cover your turkey, refrigerate it overnight, and by the next morning, be prepared to rinse off all the salt before applying any other seasonings. I know you may ask, Sierra, why not wash the collard greens before you cut them? And my reply is, have you ever cut a wet piece of paper? These greens, as well as a head of cabbage, will be thoroughly washed at least four times.
my potato salad, I add a fourth cup of mustard to every cup of mayonnaise, little by little. Add as much or as little as you like. However, for me and my family, we like it very, very moist. And my children like it yellow. But I try not to do it too yellow because I can't stand it. But just make sure it's yellow. All recipes included in today's video will be included in the description box below. recipes in today's video will be included in the description box below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because food is a big part of our culture, so. Now it's scripted in that movie, though. 
Huh? Said Nas killed her in that movie. He was in that movie? He was a narrator. Over the child. No. That was Nas' Nas. voice. He from New Orleans. The narrator? Yes, the boy. The he's boy from is from New Orleans. Orleans, but the narrator, as he was speaking, that sounded like, it wasn't Nas? No, that was the boy. Now get out of here. That was the boy. Like, I just always wanted my kids to, you know, that family vibe. Yeah, no, that's kind of like what it is, but like when you growing up and you see certain things on TV and it's soon as you as an adult, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Especially if you got that background where you are, you know, kind of being stirred in that direction. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing without my part? Oh, because you, you said now like you know, <laughs> No, I wanted to Google <laughs> who had the voice. Was it Nas or was it the child? It was it the wasn't. child. He's from New Orleans. I forgot his name. He's our age. That's crazy. Oh, I never yeah. really thought about that. Every time I heard that voice, I really thought that was Nas. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's but um, yeah, like when you watch the TV and you see things that's influenced you, especially in our culture, like the Cosby's, you know, yeah. Brandy, um, Sister Sister, yeah. like all of that, Monique, even Monique yeah. with the Huxley, you feel me? Like yeah. all that stuff was an influence. So soul food, especially around Thanksgiving time, mm -hmm. you see stuff like that and all the family getting out. The family drama. The family drama. <laughs> family get all that. That's not, yeah, the family drama is different, but when you see all the family get together, it's a beautiful sight and you want to kind of have that experience too when you get older. Give you a, it give you like a really a hard blueprint on what you want your life to sort of look like in certain seasons. Right, right. right. Especially the, the sisters. Although she didn't have boys, mm -hmm. you know, I still feel like she had like that the men dynamic through through um through her son in laws. Yeah, know? yeah. And I love that they all was different. You know, they had the lawyer, they had the hairdresser, they had yeah, the yeah. stay at home wife. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just felt like it was just so many. It was a different dynamic. It really showed the African American family. Mm -hmm. It showed us. It did. You know, so um, that's what I wanted. I, I just, I don't know. And just to be here in 2023, I have it. You know, but it makes me right. reflect on like traditions that we had growing up. Babe, I'm doing this for you. I'm just cooking this and doing your part. Want me to just put it in there and start seasoning it up or cook it down first? After this. Yeah, I'm going to wait till that. Cook down a little bit. Yeah. Being that soulful was the one of your, 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 you know, the best movie that you enjoyed. You want to see more Big Mamas in the family. Okay. I feel that. I feel that. I and Big Mamas start from what generation? You think it will be the grandmother, or can it be the? Because you know, let's say you know, rest in peace to all the grandmothers, and let's say you got that one sibling in the family who is like the cook. Would it be considered her to be Big Mama? Or is it the one that's real knowledgeable? The one that's, you know, always trying to keep the family together. Would that be considered Big Mama? Because Big Mama did for that role a lot. That was the 90s, right? So that reflected life in the 90s. The time we're living in now is just totally different. I just want to focus on my family. You're you so know? Today, by you know, thanks, baby. Mm. <laughs> I love them. Um, I just feel like. Everybody's situation is different. I just feel like we have come a long way. Oh, there was a TikTok. A lady went. There you go, them TikToks. <laughs> a lady went viral last year, and she was showing like her daughter at the Sunday meal. Like her family still gets together every Sunday. And although I feel after like church. after church, after yeah. church, together as a family at a table, mm -hmm. and I feel like our my childhood. My childhood was different because, you know, I'm a, I'm a child of divorced parents. So yeah. one Thanksgiving I was here, one Thanksgiving I was there. But like we've always had everybody cook together. You know, that the tradition was still kept alive. Was it all women in the kitchen or just everybody? All women in the kitchen. The man will fry the turkey. I'll give it that because yeah. my mama husband used to fry the turkey. She would, mom, moms are, you know, what, the lady would walk out the kitchen with the pans and give it to the husband mm -hmm. or whoever and they would be in there doing it again. Yeah. Yes, but like actually sitting at the table with all the family. I never had that. Like I always had everybody at the house eating, but somebody was in the living room eating, somebody was outside somebody of the porch eating, yeah. you know? Conversations was all plenty for everybody was spread out eating right. and themselves. All right, but I think that that just stems from having a, too many people at the house and not having a table big enough for a hundred people. You know? I remember but, having a, a table big enough. But I never. But you got a smaller everybody was always spread out too. Now, when it comes to my memory, I don't know, man. I must have. I, just, I don't know. Football didn't tell me what, but it's like, I'm, you know, I need to be reminded. Um, Excuse me, baby. No, definitely. 
Nah, but I remember like, you know, having, having it to where we would have family would come over and they wouldn't come at a bunch, like in a, like a flock of family members. It was always the one that was passing through, passing through, passing through. Get a plate, spend time with the family, sit down for a bit, spend some hours with each other. Seasons like this is always, or have always been a time where, you know, you want to just... Oops, sorry for the click it, now you it. it allows you to be un, like next to your family more often, you know what I'm saying? And just leave all that other stuff out the window because right. it's a season of thanks, Thanksgiving, you know what I'm saying? Right. And no matter what, I just want to keep the tradition alive for our kids. Yeah. You know, like regardless wherever we are, like I said, I like to. Though, even though Thanksgiving does have its history, you know what I'm saying? Um, I truly believe each house is still gonna have its own tradition on how they choose to celebrate it. You know, regardless if this is like the conversation, if it's the family praying together right before the meal, giving it Thanksgiving, if they all meet together and praying before the actual cook starts. I don't want the new generation, especially our children and grandchildren, mm -hmm. to grow up, celebrating holidays, and not knowing the meaning of the holidays. Always important to know the meaning. Right, like I remember dressing up for school as an Indian. And I remember going home and what they had us dressed up as, um, it was like a brown paper bag with some feathers and all Did that. Did they really talk about what happened with the Indians? The fabricated part. And I remember my daddy saying, why do they welcome. still have these children yes. dressing up like this? Thank you. And I never understood what he meant behind that until I was an adult. I knew it. Until I became an adult. And so, you know, I, I just want to take back the meeting. Yes, to us, Thanksgiving has always been a time for us to get together with family and eat. Right. But also, this, this holiday is the remembrance of a genocide of a people. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, still come together, still, you know, have family time, you know, cook food for the culture and things like that, but actually teach. Because just like Thanksgiving that's, is this. That's why do we have Big Mama sit all the kids now. Hey, get all them babies. Get all them babies before we eat, y'all. Come here real quick. Yeah. Let me check something. Let me check something. Is that time again? How you gonna do it? I have no idea. Woo! You could tilt it up a little bit. Yeah, I know, but I need something like a little spoon or something. We're gonna get busy. You feel me? We're gonna get busy. We're gonna, we're gonna make it work. Huh? Wait, babe, you just threw your leg over my head? Babe, um, you took up all the room. <laughs> you just tried to throw your leg over my head. Okay. And you was what a God has done, but that's just good season. Right. That's just good season right there. Yes, 
But we always have a good turkey. We always do a good job every year. But we've been making the turkey since Daniel was a baby. Yeah, 100%. Remember we were scared to make the turkey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now look at us. That looks so good. Thank I you. wish y'all could see it from where y'all at. Hold up. We gotta show them. We gotta show the people. No. This is my Y'all wanna see the turkey? Should we, should we show them the turkey? Y'all wanna see the turkey? Yeah, go ahead. And y'all wanna wait till we done? Show them the turkey. Show them the turkey. Yeah. Alright. See, I'm saying yeah. yeah. Let me see how the turkey looks. Go get your other cup. Go get your cup. Do you need some milk? You want some what? Do you need some milk? Some milk? You want some more milk? Ain't you had like, look at your little belly. Ain't your belly all full, full of milk already? Right yes. Do you need some milk? You want milk? Do you want milk? All right, mommy, you gonna have to back up because it's gonna get hot. All right, look at that. I have to show you. Oh, it's gonna fog up, but um. Boy, you swear to God, this is an ad. I got you, I got you. Milk. Milk. It ain't milk, this is water. You know what I'm saying? Water. You go. Say water. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm finna get my taste buds on real quick and see what this is tasting like. This looks so good. Um, hey, again, I really hope everybody had a really, really good Thanksgiving. We've been cooking since last night. Literally since last night. Um, went to bed super, super late. For all you guys who've been following us, y'all know that we were very sleep half the time anyway. Um, Busy people. But yeah, let's do this. You got a spoon on? You get the first taste. Oh, look at this thing right there. Look at that. Mmm. I got some water. You want some water? You're welcome. She That's snatched it out of my hand. The respect <laughs> and the disrespect. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let me know what you babe. Let me know what I need. My feet is hurting. Yes. You don't need nothing else. You don't need nothing else. Here you go. That's really good. That's really good. That's good. Um. That's hot. Thanks, babe. What's next? Hmm? What's next? I'm starting to get delirious now. Yeah, but we still got some more dishes that we do need to add on. Oh, you say it's spicy. Don't add no more. God bless you. Don't add no more to it. I won't add no more to it. You're welcome. I didn't even add that much seasoning. Oh, it's the cayenne pepper. Is it cayenne pepper? That's what's making me do that. That's that You hear me? Oh, baby, how do you pronounce that? The melaton? Melaton. The melaton. They got the melaton right now, which is filled with crab, shrimp, <laughs> crawfish, melaton. It's, it's really, really good. It's called chayote, chayote to other people, but we call it melaton. And right now she's uh, putting corn in the microwave. As you can see, bro, we actually cook down, and I feel like you guys know that already, especially being all the other videos that we put out. And usually around Thanksgiving time, we make this amount of food anyway because we go out and we do bring plates to the homeless. Um, we do it like not every this year. year. Not this year though, we're not doing it this year. Um, but this time we are definitely, you know, as usual, putting our wrist to work. Putting our wrist to work. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to everybody, man. You guys definitely cooking it up like that. Y'all know the vibes. If y'all doing it simple or whatnot, y'all know the vibes. Man, you feed your family, you're doing your things. Shout out to you. And um, yeah, we're gonna keep going. Okay, so the kids are about to taste test this mm -hmm. um, while they're taste testing because I want to see if the cayenne pepper will be a little bit too much for them. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold this more. Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Mmm. Y'all like it? Mm-hmm. Y'all haven't had this in a long time. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hit them with this one here. I give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, too. I gotta tell them it's fine. Hey, I didn't want them to take my word for it. I wanted to hit it from the babies, like. I'm glad it's not too spicy for them. Exactly. Done. Y'all can put it in the um, sink. Y'all gonna help us with the bread pudding, sweet potato pie, and pecan cheesecake. Butter pecan cheesecake. I'm gonna call y'all in a little minute, okay? Okay. All right, so what this is right here. We sauteed the Holy Trinity seasoning. I added one pound of chicken, grounded chicken, one pound of ground turkey. Um, if I would have been able to get some hot sausage, I would have added that in there as well. And then off to the side, I made like a little small roux. Really, it wasn't really a roux. It was like a thickener. You know, I, I like thickness to my rice dishes, right? Mm -hmm. And with some 
<laughs> cream of mushroom then i put that in the pot then i added a little bit of chicken broth i added like a half cup of chicken broth let that simmer all together then i let it sit i let it come to like a boil then i let it sit you know so all the seasonings can get together for seasonings the usual baby <laughs> real louisiana bread okay creole seasoning it does not matter if it's tony's it does not matter if it's zatarain's creole seasoning there's a difference between creole and cajun learn it italian seasoning this has basil oregano rosemary thyme parsley and garlic and of course i have all of these basil oregano all of that separate but i was like i ain't got time for this thing quick fast okay um onion powder and garlic powder where is the cayenne pepper cayenne pepper some little dashes some little dashes if you're a novice one dash if you true to this cooking stuff listen to your ancestors all right um this is some parboiled rice it's two pounds of parboiled rice um when you're making rice dishes for like holiday or you know big family gatherings get you some parboiled rice nobody got time to be doing rice over um yeah and i cook this in some chicken broth instead of water so that's another tip so right now what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be transferring half of the rice half of the rice into the pot i'll let it sit for a little bit okay so just enough to mix that in to get yes baby yes go ahead you're welcome just keep mixing 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 Oh, look at how this come together. I believe this is called like Cajun rice at like a Popeyes or something, wherever you are. Yeah. But you know, it's on Louisiana recipe. I mean, being that Christmas is coming around the corner, like, ain't you cooking gumbo? Yes. For so Christmas, you going to be doing the same gumbo. thing for the gumbo? You giving the recipe out yet? Gumbo is a rite of passage, okay? I don't believe that I could just be giving that out like that. I gotta talk to Mumu before we do that. <laughs> By the way, this is my grandmother Sylvia's Mumu. Shout out. I wear it for every holiday. Of course, I can go buy any Mumu, but I feel like my grandmother has been, my grandmother's, her and her daughter has always been like the catalyst to me wanting to cook for my family eventually, you know? I was in the kitchen as young as five years old, so she used to let me cook in the microwave, of course. I used to cook everything in the microwave. Eggs, everything. One day I tried to mimic her making gravy from scratch in the microwave. It kinda came out right, it kinda came out right. But that's why I always wanted to be the family cook. Actually, I am gonna add it in here, I feel like I feel like we can add it in here and look how moist it is, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Can I do that? Oh. Oh. And y'all, Magnum Light pots are so expensive. But after cooking all night, I was like, baby, what are we doing? It's time. How Mariah Carey say? It's time. I ain't even gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> I'ma just add this and I'ma show y'all the finished product. I know y'all gonna ask, so let me go ahead and get this out the way already. This recipe is not made with yams. It's made with sweet potatoes. There go that ancestral memory we're always telling y'all about. But anyway, when it comes to candied yams, I like to keep it old school and stick to what I was taught. I am not a fan of roasted candied yams, so this is how we're gonna keep this recipe. So, I had every intention to share this recipe, but I was tired at this point. The key to a good mac and cheese is to think about what will happen when you reheat it and to not make people run to the bathroom. Don't make it soupy and don't over bake it.
job, Danny. That looks like it's that looks like dough this time. But bread dough, chocolate pudding, yum. All together. Look, Mom, am I doing a great work? You are, Danny. Mom, why do that? Y'all, man, so the moment you all been waiting for, we have the dish. Some of the um foods that we cook aren't on here, by the way, like some turkey, yes, some potato salad because this is leftovers. We already put the turkey in the freezer, yeah. You we, know, we, ate, ate. we ate good too, man. So okay. we're gonna look dive right into it. You guys see it on the thumbnail, but I'm gonna show y'all one more time just for the close up, right? Babe, what all we have right here? All right, so we have. We have, oh, where, where am I? We oh. have a stuffed melaton. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have honey cornbread. Ooh, the best. We have rice, dirty rice. Dirty, dirty rice. rice. You feel me? We have some baked macaroni and cheese. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Some collard greens, and I redid the candy abs, baby. Listen, when I mess up on one of our cultural foods that we um, try on the channel, I mm -hmm. always redo it. Listen. You okay, mama? Whatever that was. You know kids <laughs> be making some of the most craziest noises. Yeah, so look, I got so tired in the kitchen. Dion was doing something with the kids and how you let candy yams burn? They don't even take that long to cook. So the kids wanted some candy yams, so I had to remake it. Yeah, and the fact that you remade it is A plus for you, man, because you didn't have to. You could have been like, I'm tired. I don't want to do it no more. Yeah. This, that, and the third. Yeah, ain't no candy yams since Thanksgiving. Also, we got some dessert <laughs> chilling on the side right here. You guys seen that? The kids that. made all the dessert, y'all, and they, yes. every single last dish was five. It was every good. single last one. They really it's, enjoyed the that. The only thing y'all didn't see them make, because I made it, was the pecan candy cake. Oh, that was plus, A plus. Usually we do like the pecan pie, but we went ahead and did it more mm -hmm. like treaty type of flavor. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You okay, mommy? And I think they enjoy making the treats first, so that's probably what we're gonna, what we're gonna do for um, Christmas as well. Yeah, and um, before we dig into it, I really didn't have a favorite. Um, I really enjoyed the collard greens, the melaton. Melaton. I really, really enjoyed the melaton. Usually it's with bell peppers, but this is with actually the, the melaton. Mm -hmm. Cornbread, every, the macaroni was so perfect. Man, I, hey, no, I, I loved it all. I really did. Now really listen, did. Dion act like he don't know what melaton is. I'm telling you, I ain't had that before. He has had it before because how my grandmothers make it, they always do stuffed bell peppers and stuffed melaton together. No, nah, I ain't never So had that he's had it before. I thought that was some um, bell peppers the way he looked it, so I, I really thought that's what I was eating. A skinny bell pepper? What, what bell pepper you know look like? Sometimes them bell peppers be dehydrated. They, they, just, they be Not sitting dehydrated. there a little long, yeah. Oh, they okay. both green, so you really don't know the difference. You thinking that's what it is. If no one told you that what you was finna eat was melaton, you would thought this was bell peppers too i yeah. promise you so with our holiday meals and even even our everyday cooking is mm -hmm. like a combination of 
all Southern Louisiana. Not just Southern Louisiana, because the Northern people, they, they, they eat this too. But like the stuffed melaton, the melaton, originally I was gonna do seafood and melaton dressing. But then I was like, no, let me just go ahead, especially when the people didn't bring all my pans. I had oh, yeah. a delivery order and they, they substituted <laughs> one big pan for a five count. Oh, and my turkey did not come out dry this year, you guys. Oh, no. I'm telling it you, the turkey. It never come out dry. I didn't. I never injected the turkey before either, though. Oh yeah. It's my first time actually injecting it. It made it a lot more juicier, a lot more um, wet, fluffy. Mm -hmm. Man, it was it was good. Crisp yeah. on the outside, nice and tender on the inside, straight off the bone. We oh. were supposed to do a Man, fried turkey, but the the deep fryer wouldn't have came in. Yeah, it wouldn't have came in on time. We already know how all this stuff tastes. What I was saying earlier was that Dion is from Louisiana. Heard I mean, about it. We, we're both from Louisiana. Yes, sir. Dion is from Lafayette. I'm from New Orleans, grew up in New Iberia and Baton Rouge as well. So some of the foods that I'm used to eating, he's not so much used to eating, but she said she, she sound from left here, but I, I worked out there a lot, but I also uh, laid my head down in Karen Crow, so you know how that goes. I say Lafayette because people don't know about Karen Crow. Bro, they literally the same thing. They, they uh, exit difference. They really is just exit different. Y'all gonna really go get on me for that, but it is what it is. Yeah, make sure you subscribe. We're so, so, so thankful. For all 160,000 something of y'all. Very thankful for y'all. That's man. of all of channels together. So. Yep, yep, all of y'all. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you soon.